Riverina Milk is situated in the Riverina region. We're actually located right near the Murray River. We milk 2,000 cows three times a day, which means that our production doesn't stop. We go 24 hours a day. My name's Bridie. Um, I've been working here for two years now. At the moment, I am in the health team. So I take care of all the sick animals and I'm also an AI technician. We've been using the Alter Collars for just over 12 months now. We did not have heat detection before we used the collar system. We only did timed AI. Previously, before they installed the collars, um, there was a lot of love sinks um, programs, a lot of hormones involved, um, also um, a lot of KMARs involved as well with manual heat detection. And I think the need up collars have taken that step out and uh, made it a little bit more um, streamlined. With our collars during our working day now, we are able to pick up our heats. So we're able to AI cows every day now, um, rather than putting them through a program and using hormones. We've been able to save time on doing shots, which has also saved us money. So we don't have to use as many hormone shots anymore. We're able just to let them be and we can tell when they're on heat now, which is really good. Um, the good thing about the NEEDAP system is it, it optimally tells you the perfect time that, that cow is on heat. So that in itself can be a major game changer in conception, results, um, in calf. It's a, it's a real big thing. For me personally, I love the excitement of getting cows in calf quicker and just shorten that period, that calving period down, uh, more fresh milk. The health benefits is a big factor in itself as well. Collars have been really good picking up cows that have been sick. So the information that we get about eating and ruminating from Cow Watch is whether or not they've increased in inactivity um, or whether they've decreased in their eating or rumination time. We've been able to draft out cows that are coming up on our Cow Watch system and have a look at them and determine what's actually wrong with them. We do pick up a lot of cows that have digestive issues. We never would have been able to pick that up, so that's pretty amazing. Other things like pneumonia, ketosis, I would say definitely being able to pick that up with the collars three days earlier than usual. Before we had the collars in our dry cows, we were never really able to pick up any sick cows. That was just not something that we monitored. We didn't have the people. Um, so that, I guess, would probably be the biggest thing that we wish we hadn't known before. So we had a dry cow um, that was in maternity and she looked fine, but she came up on the health alert. She had decreased eating, decreased rumination, and she was very inactive. Um, having a look at her, like just doing a walkthrough, there was no, like, there was nothing really that you could tell. So previously, before the collars, no one would have been able to pick it up. And then we figured out she had quite bad pneumonia. We were able to get her back on her feet quick. And now she's uh, making us good milk, good money. The system impacts our fresh cows a lot. We tend to use Cow Watch a lot with our fresh cows. Um, it, it helps us figure out um, cows that have ketosis which we didn't know until we got the collars has actually been quite a large problem on our farm. We then are able to like, look at the cow earlier on and treat them earlier on, which prevents the, them from getting DA, which has been really good because we haven't lost as many cows. The payback period is a lot quicker than first thought um, in, the, in the initial interview process, from, from 18 months back down to summer, even six months. We want to work more towards having healthy cows, getting cows pregnant, and the collar system will help us do that. Yes, I definitely recommend it to other farmers, especially in a large production like we have. I think it not only saves a lot of time, but it's, it's easy and it's really good.